This is calculator question number four from the January 2017 exam, which is also practice test eight in the 2018 version of the College Board prep book. College Board gives us a graph scatter plot of pedal width versus length, or length versus width, and a line of best fit, a graph, and equation. Y equals 1.67x plus 21.1 where the y value is the length and the x value is the width. And they say, if the width is 19, what is the predicted length? Notice that width is the x-axis. College Board could actually give you the y value and ask for the x from that. They do like to mix things up on the questions to make sure you're reading carefully, but in this case they are giving you x and asking for y. And this is a calculator question, so I'm going to enter the equation into y equals, because I'm less likely to do something careless, and then I go to the table and I sc scroll down to x equals 19, and I get y equals, the equation was 1.67x plus 21.1, so y equals 1.67 times 19 plus 21.1, and I could type that into the home screen, but I prefer using the graphing calculator capabilities, and that is y equals 52.83, and that would be the answer. There are several other ways of doing this. Obviously, you can multiply that by hand. You could estimate. That's basically one and two thirds. One and two thirds, or five thirds times 18 would be 30 and then plus another 21.1 is 51.1 but I actually have 5 thirds of 19 so add 1.67 and I get 52.7 ish which is about 52.83 so estimation calling this 5 thirds gives me about the same answer. I could also extend the graph and say 17 is there, so 19 is about here, and I'm below 55 but above 50. The only answer choice below 55 but above 50 would be choice C. So again, I get the same answer. We have a number of ways approaching this. The important thing is to either compute accurately without careless errors or estimate accurately, keeping in mind where 19 is on your x-axis. College Board often asks you to interpret data from a line of best fit. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.